shout out to all healthcare and essential workers around the world. I'm keeping it real here. If I was going to bet my last dollar, I'm just going to give this thing everything I got. What do I have to lose here? All you got to do is be yourself. Try my ass off. I'm doing my very best. I just got to put one foot in front of the other and trust God. I can't lose. Quarantine life update. Can't lose. April 6th, 2020. Four and a half time. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm learning to trust myself. All I know is COVID-19 is mad real. We're living in the craziest time of our lives. A nigga really trying to survive this global pandemic. My bank account looks like a terrible joke. Shit getting mad real. And I legit had to tell my landlord we weren't going to be able to make rent this month. Man, I got to figure this shit out. My name is Ajani, and this is The Everyday Fight. Hey, dog. Yo. 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 Nigga. What, nigga? Can you turn that weak shit down, please? For real, baby. Please. For real, baby. talking about <sighs> notice of unemployment insurance award yo this is dope okay claim beginning date maximum benefit amount Weekly benefit. Okay. Notice of unemployment insurance claim filed. Hopefully I get this, man, because I need this. No more. Come on, guy. Let me get this thing off. Okay. You're right. Shout out to the homie King Peso. Free Peso. Thank you for this Christmas, my brother. I bow this up to the most high. The ancestors. 
Thank you so much for today, Father, as we God. I thank you so much for this opportunity to be present here today. I'm thankful for life. God, another day of quarantine. We're all going through this pandemic. Father, I pray for your guidance, your protection, your wisdom, your knowledge. You show us the way. Father, may we be led by our ancestors and the ones who came before us. Help us, show us the way. I'm praying for people who are all sick out there, who need to get testing, who need to get treatment. I pray that you can heal them. I pray for my moms, my brothers, and the homeless. Father, please help this nigga, I mean, the landlord, in understanding that we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Please help them understand that at this time in life, things are a little bit rough. In this time, a desperate situations, a desperate need, and he can be guided by you. Father, I pray for peace. I pray for victory. I pray for your blessing. I pray that you give me the courage to be the best version of myself. Just a regular man. Just want to get right. Just want to do right. I want to help my family. I want to help the people that I care about. And I want my life to mean something. And I want to add value to the world. And I will take part with you. Thank you so much for today. Please guide us on our journeys. Love you. It's in your divine name. And we pray. Amen. I could do all things from him who gives me strength. I need some damn coffee. That's what I need. Get this work. It's that shit they be drinking in the pan right here. That Lego. Go, 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 that Lego. You know what that? That caramel macchiato joint right there. Just like that. Let me know. Pause. Talk nerdy to me. I'd rather wait for a check. You need my money?
the workshop wherein are all fashioned, all plans created by man. The impulse, the desire is given shape, form, and action through the aid of the imaginative faculty of the mind. That's deep. That's deep. Damn. Think about this. This went a little bit different. Just like this coffee. It has been said that man can create anything which you can't imagine. I'm 
I'm walking out of flight club, buried by my stony. Driving through the valley, set appointments with the Modi. Later, I'm gonna meet up with the homies, drink some bodies. In and out, brother, got the blood with my shoulders. Y'all better go inside, it's about to get stormy. Rainbow's never seen around my town, it's a boy. 187 is the most common story. Grandma's with my kids at the house watching Mari. Betting on success is kind of like playing dominoes. The only one who wins got a
fry, yeah. It's gonna fry. Uh. <laughs> hey, where's my damn notebook? No. Over a million people have been infected. A million people. And I dare say, man, this might be coming from those 5G towers. I don't know. It's a real possibility. I'm not saying anything, but what I am saying is that this shit is wild. Every time I hear coronavirus, I think of fucking Cardi B's voice. Coronavirus. Whatever. Okay. What is it I want to talk about today? So first and foremost, what I want to do before I even get started, a special shout out to one of my neighbors and uh the other day we had uh we had rent come up the landlord came over it was me landlord and my two neighbors my other neighbor was uh upstairs he was looking down and on the 28th since uh i sent my landlord a text like like, yo, this is the situation, this is what's going on. He didn't respond to me. Then on the third of this month, he sends me a text saying, hey, I'm going to come by for the rent. I'm sitting there like, yo, did you get my text? Because this is what's going on. And I told him, like, yo, like, the situation, you really lost their jobs. No, follow up on the point. And he says, okay, be safe. And he just walks off. And this man's going on. Thinking everything cool. Kiss me up today. Yo, when you gonna be able to pay your rent? I've been living here at this place for about eight years. I was working at Radio Shack. What a face. What my nigga wrist. Then I was working at Verizon. Well, the wireless retailer. PCS Express. You said this nigga can't. Oh. You said this nigga can't hear me, nigga? Oh, shit. I started working for the security company from a friend of a friend. I paid my rent every month for the past eight years. Crazy to me. I'm just as human as anybody else. I take care of my mom's. She's disabled. Just keeping it real. I'm speaking all facts here. My younger brother, such a man when he was 18 because he was in a situation where his pops was on crazy. I have my roommate. We used to go to church together. I've always, no matter what, always paid my bills, always did the right things. And I've had a few bumps in my road in my life. I paid my rent the past eight years. Even when I was late, paid my late fees, all that, because we all have been at times. We're at a critical time in life where people are having to choose 
to either pay their bills, to pay their rent, or their livelihood. Now, I've literally have given my last dollar to my landlord, like no cap. Last month, I gave him every single dollar that I have. Everybody in my house gave him their last dollar when the rent, when it was due. I had to make a critical decision with either my livelihood and get groceries or opposite. And I don't know when my next check is gonna be coming to keep it all the way in 100. I mean, I'm supposed to be getting like unemployment. Things are supposed to be coming in. That hasn't happened yet. Until that does happen, I have to operate and I have to think, I have to save in order to make sure that my family is taken care of. And I even hate to be in this position knowing that I've worked so hard to keep a roof over my head and the situation that's completely out of my control, that's out of everybody's control, is going on. Then I start to feel for people in this situation because it's not even about the money. It's about the humanity at this point. People, family members are dying. People have literally been laid off from their jobs. Their lives have changed. It's crazy. It's crazy. About people in Ecuador whose family members have died from this virus and their bodies are stored inside their homes until they can get them to a funeral. Humanity is in a big fight right now. I promise you, if things were different, I'm one of those people. If I have it, I'm gonna give it. I've always taken care of my responsibilities, like I've said. I've never not paid what I've always needed to pay and do what I needed to do. Right now, I'm in a transition in my life where the things that I was doing before, working at the jobs that I was working at, it wasn't moving me forward in the way that I needed to move forward in my life. I'm 31 years old, and being 31, you want to try to get things right. And that's like exactly where I am, that I'm trying to get things right. But at the same time, I have to stop not be, I have to stop being afraid and go after the things that I need to go after in order to become the man that I want to become. Because I'm not done yet. Like, I just want to become a great man. That's all I want to do. Just take care of my family. <laughs> Pay my dues. Start my way from the bottom. Work my way up. Each video at a time. You know, each job at a time. I've been there. I've worked. I still keep working. You know, I just... <laughs> Life is just rough right now. But it's not just me. It's millions of people around the world. Humanity needs healing right now. There are people who are going through the same things I'm going through. And I might as well be honest about it and tell the exact truth so my character can never be questioned in any type of way. And this has nothing to do with anybody else. This is just my self-expression of how I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna overcome. I know things will change. I know things will get better. But Tom, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to survive and just make it through the next day. You know, I had to choose my, my next meal over my livelihood. I wanted to choose my livelihood over my next meal. 
I'm gonna pay the man when I can pay the man as soon as possible when things start coming through. And, you know, we all get our situation straightened out with our jobs and our unemployments and getting things back on the right track for me and my family. But right now, I just truly have to focus and do everything possible. I'm gonna keep working. I ain't even gonna trip on it. I'm just gonna allow God to work this all out. I'm gonna keep doing everything that I need to do as an individual to just maintain my peace of mind and my confidence and keep my head held high. And I'm pretty sure that things will work out for all of us um, in the long run. So I'm not gonna worry about it. And I'm not gonna trip on it uh, too much because you can't cry with spilled milk. What I wanna do going forward I feel like I got so much work to do and I'm willing to grow and I'm willing to learn. And these are just like the, the first steps of me becoming who I am in this journey. I feel like you gotta take that one day at a time. And I realize that I'm not gonna be great at this overnight and I gotta start exactly where I'm at. I'm still learning what all this is. I know I'm a little bit different. You know, I smoke my weed, my cannabis. I live in California. So cannabis is completely legal. And I have an anxiety disorder. So <laughs> that's another thing I'm gonna tell y'all about later that I deal with. But I'm about to get ready. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head to the store. I know I went on a little tangent. My bad. I just had to express that. I'm about to get ready right now. I can feel the earth moving. Or I just might be tripping. So as you know, you need facial coverings to go inside the stores here in Los Angeles. So I'm getting ready to head out right now. to go get some uh some food for the family. If you guys can hear me. Well that's yeah. That wasn't very smart. So in order to go inside the stores you need uh, facial covering in order to be inside of there. So there go the store right now and then uh, now I'm gonna get some dinner for the family. So uh, let's go. If I wasn't new this little bitch who fucking for crimes only thing she fuck with is boy for some bombs until I fell her cold scripts oh you like how I come hey bitch say bitch come and get with this copia see I'm the fly so on fig and the bitches know this I taught her how to get the dollars out of veteran shit see now your daddy ride some president shit. Go chains and Gucci collars, make the 304s holler. You know, it's me and Golly pulling up on Count the Rocky. And all of us got the Glocky, so don't trip up in his body. The exes, he got me bobbing, so I'm thinking Scotty. I, my bitch constantly tripping, so I'm beating up her body. Whoa, something get in me when I'm stepping in them Gucci toes. Shit, I be spitting me, coming out like a ass. She came with trapping, how I heal, and no, that's already home. She paid my partner to hit me, that's a professional. No, bitch, catch me on fig, I'ma do it big. Did my money dance, cause I bought the bitch was out of pocket, so she ran it in. I'm starting to catch a wave, I'm starting to catch a trend. The bitch was on fig, I chased it down again. The bitch shows up with a clown again. I'm up, how you like me now again? The bitch was on fig, I chased her down again.
pussy, man, you fucking with the real hassle hive. Why you tripping on me? Why you fucked up off the sauce? I just think you're stupid, stuck in circles, walk it off. Why you run away from me when you come back looking lost? Call me every time you run away from me. Every time you do it, fucking sanity. Thinking that you're crazy, but you're great for me. This is fucking crazy, fucking sanity. I met her at the midnight show. Fucked around, I met her at the midnight glow. Fucked around, I gave her all that midnight so. Fucked around, I froze her with my midnight coat. Dancing late past four, fours on the floor. Dancing on the toes, baby on the bows. I just get it all, trapping on the low. I don't even know. I met her at the midnight show, midnight glow. Baby had the midnight soul, midnight call. Dancing on the midnight pole, fuck the flow. Goddamn, she got that stupid dance. Money dance, damn, she walking with the stupid bags. Shaking ass, making plans, cash advance. By any means, by any chance, anything. For the bands, for the rats, anything for the bands. That, you know you that was perfect. That was perfect. When I pull up to the crib, I'm up inside. I got my finger on the trigger, about to pop off on this model. Got my suture, I'm a shooter, sniping bitches on the scooter. Should I do the Should I boot her? Should I bless her or excuse her? I'm a shoot. If I'm Batman and it's got them Wonder Woman's pussies awesome, later back and watch her blossom, blowing bubbles, eating chocolate. Was a man, don't know she tossed some meat and salad, working often every time that she come over, lay that pussy in the coffin. Poison Ivy, Wonder Woman, Supergirl. Cat woman had them spread out on the landing Bitches acting like the tenants Had them over around 11 Had them leave around 11 in the morning Not to mention Superman be her stressing We were friends once more It's the only reason you're still alive I made it back to the house I got all settled in I showered I got cleaned up Ate me a little bit of food Today has been a long, it's been an interesting day. I have a lot to think about. First and foremost, I just want to say I have all the respect in the world for my landlord. And I don't want to seem like throwing the man under the bus due to the current situation and the circumstances that are going on. They're tough, they're difficult. We're all trying to figure it out. When you're going through life and you're faced with challenges and those challenges, they happen and they come in uncertain times. I didn't plan any of this. I didn't plan to start looking for more work right before a global pandemic started to pop off. I thought I was... <laughs> I thought I was going to do something good for myself. Try to get myself together. My mom, I need to take care of her. I got to make sure that I look out for her. She's disabled. She's older. She's one of my main reasons why I do what I do. My brothers, my friends, my family, they mean so much to me. I don't know what's gonna happen. The toughest thing in the world that I had to do was tell that man, like, yo, we weren't able to make my rent. I'm not saying this because I'm looking for a handout. No. I'm saying this because I'm gonna rise. I'm gonna overcome. Setbacks happen. Life gets hard. Things get difficult. The one thing I know about myself is I've always been a trier. I might not be the best equipped or the task at hand, but I'm gonna give you my best. Put everything I got into everything that I do. I want to break the cycle. 
I can sit up here and give everybody the sob story of I grew up without my dad, I never knowing him. Uh, I went through special education. I went through high school homeless. I went, I've overcome drug addiction. I've overcome obesity. I've overcome so many different things and challenges in my life. That's not the story that I want to tell. I'm here with the people that I love absolutely the most. I've always been a try, and I've always wanted to talk about this. Why not? I have nothing else to lose. So back in 2015, 2000, it was late 2014, going on 2015, I was working at Radio Shack. I'm thinking to myself, the store is about to close. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but the thing that I've always wanted to do was start my own brand. Uh, I've always been into fashion. I came out here to LA and I went to school at LA Trade Tech. And I went to school at Santa Monica and I studied fashion design. I invested heavily into photography because that's always something that I've always did too. I've always been like one of those people who always thought like, yo, if you're gonna do something in life, why not go for it? Why not try to make the most of the opportunity that you have here now? Because you know, you might not be here forever. You know, I always had it in the back of my mind. Like, yo, I just wanna, wanna try this, I wanna do this. So I took like a couple hundred bucks and I invested into my, my first business, which was, <laughs> victory chapter. I got my tags and I got everything made downtown here in LA. One of the biggest things that I wanted to do with the brand, I didn't want to make the brand be about the clothing. I wanted the brand to mean something more. I had no intention of selling the shirts. I just literally wanted to go out and get the shirts away and get people's stories. I felt like their stories meant more than the t-shirt could ever mean in life. I got my first 30 shirts made. And I had three different colorways of the shirt. I had this black one right here. I had the army green, which is this one right here. And I also had like a cranberry red shirt too. I started like going around and I started to get the shirts out, like to, you know, the homies in the neighborhood, people that I knew. And it was compelling, it was crazy. So I took the pictures, got the stories, and I posted them on Instagram. I started this brand because I cared more about people's stories. I felt like their stories meant more than the t-shirt could ever mean in life. So as I'm out there each and every day, I'm taking pictures and the craziest thing happened. I started to see like people around Los Angeles start to wear my shirts, my Victory Chapter t-shirts. I ended up selling out of all the t-shirts and that was like a game changer for me right there because I created something the next thing you know, all the t-shirts they sold out that I just ordered. That was a surreal experience for me. And one of the dopest things that I've ever seen was I was I was walking on Pico one day and I see a dude with a white t-shirt on and I was like, yo, that looks dope. And it happened to be one of my t-shirts. I was like, whoa and everything just became real to me. Like, I set out a goal, I accomplished a goal without even trying, because mind you, I didn't go into the thing thinking that I was gonna sell any of the t-shirts. I went into it thinking like, yo, I wanna give these t-shirts away initially because I care more about establishing this thing and I care more about the people that I'm interacting with I'm working the brand. Things are starting to work. But I get scared. 
things are starting to work. Things are starting to happen for me. They never happened for me like that ever in my life. I was making some money from the brand. It wasn't like the same amount of money that like I'd be making from like a normal paycheck if I was working for a job, but it was still something. So at the time, it was like one of the last days at Radio Shack and I got approached for a job for the wireless retailer. At the time, I'm sitting here, I'm starting on this journey. Things were in the works, they were happening for me. I couldn't see the vision initially. I couldn't go all in and do the brand full time. So what I did was I said, you know what? I'm gonna work here at the wireless retail job and then I'm gonna do the victory chapter at the same time. This is where I failed, right here. After I took that job, I got too busy at that job because I was at work, it was a full-time job, and I really had to, you know, take care of my, my livelihood and pay my bills and do those things. That's what always came first for me. Then I ended up getting addicted to drugs and going through some crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Looking back on that decision now, what stood the test of time was a Victory Chapter t-shirt. I know it may seem like I'm down 100 to 1 right now. I don't know if I'll ever get that opportunity again for Victory Chapter. And the reason why I wanted to talk about it was, like I said, I'm a trier. I tried. I took pride. I put my heart into it. And ultimately, it failed. I put my soul into building this thing. I took it so serious. I got business cards made. I got my tags. I got everything. Never been so proud of my life. Something that I made. Other people, they had it on. It was real. One thing that did teach me though, is that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You can do anything that you put your heart to. I've always been a dreamer. I've always thought big. I've always thought out of the box. The biggest lesson that I learned is no matter what, go with your gut. Take care of your family. Trust where you at right now. Don't ever stop, but never give up. One day, this is all gonna matter. This is all gonna count. Until that day happens, I gotta keep fighting away. Understand what's going on in your world now. Understand exactly where you're at. The moment you do that, you have an opportunity to move forward. You might be down, you're never out. You can always get back up. You can always pick yourself up, dust yourself off, try again. One day, I say this all the time, I promise you, I'm gonna get this thing right. I'm gonna bounce back and I'm gonna overcome and be so much better than I ever was before. I'm taking this thing serious and I gotta figure this shit out. Until the next time, to the next video, my black ass is out. If you're taking the time out of your day, 
watch this video, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. From the bottom of my heart. That's like family. <laughs> that's like, you know, that's like family to me. But never going to stop fighting. Y'all stay happy. Y'all stay happy. Y'all stay blessed. My black ass is out.